Uh, welcome to my basement. My archives. A lot of history in those boxes. A lot of journeys. And a lot of work. The connection came after I got injured. And the first thing I did was turn to meditation. It gave me a ticket to the greats. Doing a film about yoga is like uh, something like a great opportunity because it's so visual. And then we had the chance to do visual stuff being narrative, which is important. It's shooting another photographer, so it's a really uh, challenging situation where you gotta see another photographer's work and imagine how can you capture that in your own way. We were inspired by his work, but we were trying. We were trying to achieve not the same look because we are not trying to. Uh, really turn his work into a film. We were trying to capture him and his work, so this is a different approach. And that's why we went for a lot of high speeds, so we shot a lot of things in 200 frames per second, and we had a lot of filters. We decided to shoot on prime lenses and not zoom, so we had a really shallow depth of field, I was shooting wide open all the time, so always trying to find the focus, and a lot of times it's just the camera moving and finding the focus and that kind of stuff, which also has to do with the photographer eyes. And I was even later on the edit, I was watching the films and I, I went a few times with the editor, and she was putting a lot of stuff that I was just like, going with the camera and finding the subject, which I was like, oh my God, don't use that. Like, use the part I'm, I'm already there. And she was, no, but this is great because it's the film about the photographer too. So it kind of links with his eyes trying to find his picture. And everything you are experiencing through the body-mind is also a dream. What is not the dream is the self in which the experience is happening. I think in the end, the meaning of life is to find out who you are. Shooting a documentary was something new to me, and I'm used to shoot most of the time, almost all the time actually, with the Alexa, especially the Mini nowadays. So when I knew I had to do a documentary and I was deciding what to do, I was like, oh, I, I, I don't want to do it with the zoom lenses, with a small camera, all, all that stuff wouldn't make sense to me, and I would be trying to adapt with something that maybe I don't know how to do it. So I, I went out of my comfort zone, but then I picked up some stuff I had from my comfort zone. And then we decided on the Amira, which is the same sensor that I was used to, everything that I, I was like already part of me somehow in a different way, easier to a documentary, which you can handle just yourself. I didn't have an assistant fo pulling the focus for me, or I didn't have, we just had one person downloading the footage and, and helping us. So it's, it's really helpful to have a camera that goes uh, really well when you are alone. And that's what I think Amira does. The internal and these were really important because as I said, I was shooting wide open all the time. So I, I, I was not making my exposure for anything else than the NEDs. So I was just playing with speed the shutter and and then these and that was really how really fast I could just in two seconds adjust for any light situation and we would go which is really important in the documentary because of of course I was always trying to go for the best light for the best place let but sometimes things just happen and you need to capture it so the time now. what's gonna go with us is our experiences.